It's uh, lovely to be able to welcome Hamish Maxwell Stewart to Family History Down Under. And first time I've had a chance to chat with Hamish and I did. So the first question was say something because I was expecting a, a lovely Scottish accent. Uh, but he has a lovely accent, but it's not Scottish. So Hamish, tell us a little bit about yourself. Good day, Susie. Um, I'm a professor of history at the University of New England, although I'm based in Hobart, Tasmania. And I've actually worked at four different universities, two of them in Scotland. I did my initial degree in history at Edinburgh University. And in fact, I wanted to go on and work on the slave trade. And I had an Australian supervisor who convinced me to work on convict transportation instead because he said the records were better. And that's how I got to Australia via the University of Glasgow, where I worked in the history of medicine unit for a while. But I've been um, resident in Australia now for 23 years. Uh -huh. And of course, I'm biased because I personally have five convicts and I love convict records. And you're talking to us on three different subjects for convict records. So tell us a bit about why people should hear your talks and what they might gain from them. Well, I'm really, really interested in the way in which we can use digital techniques to piece together past archives in order to look at life course and generational outcomes for people. And there's no better starting point for this kind of work than convict records. And with convict records, we know the color of people's eyes, we know where they were born, we know how much was in their banker, bank accounts, and we know precisely how they were punished, where they were punished, how many strokes of the lash fell across their back. And in many cases, of course, we know how long they lived, where they died and what they died of. Uh, that is a really unique resource. So that's primarily what I work on and why I'm fascinated with convict records. But you know, an enormous amount of work has to go into piecing together these you know, very big record collections. And so you know, we have you know, about 170,000 convicts um, transported to Australia or convicted in Australia and sent into the transportation system. That's a lot of individual records to get through. So I very, very much enjoy working with family and local historians on the task of digitizing Australia's rogues gallery. Well, I can't wait to hear you talk. So I really can't. As I said, I'm biased, but it also, I, I just love records and databases. So I am so looking forward to it. And Hamish, thanks so much for your time today. Oh, look, yeah, I'm, I, I, I love working um, with family historians. I think family historians are at the, um, the vanguard of some of the most um, cutting edge work that's being conducted um, internationally. And I'm very much um, looking forward to meeting many, many new friends in March.